Chances are most of you will be familiar with this posture because it'll be the posture that you find your teenagers in most often when they're studying. So if you have a look at what I'm doing, I'm in long sitting on the bed. I've got no support for my head and shoulders and my spine is in a total C curve. So I've lost all the normal curves of my spine. What will happen in this posture long term or if you hold it for a long period of time is that you will end up with headaches and neck pain. So the muscles in my neck um, joining my shoulder to my skull are working overtime in this position to keep my head from dropping off my spine because I've lost my normal spinal curves. You can improve upon this posture though um, initially by putting a pillow behind my neck so that one supports my neck and shoulders um, so that reduces some of the strain on the muscles in my neck. Now that pillow is actually too dense for me. I need something that's a little bit softer so that I'm back a little bit further into sort of that sort of position. But immediately I can feel the muscles in my neck and shoulders relaxing. So that's number one. Um, secondly, I can change position. If I get into a cross leg sit position and sit right forward so that I'm sitting on my sit bones, that straightens your spine up puts the curve in my low back and makes me more upright generally no effort involved all right so just by changing the position of my sit bones tilting my pelvis forward I get a curve in my low back and I'm in a much more upright position now in that position if I were to type I'd be undoing the good that we've done from down here because I'm once again leaning forward to see the screen and to hit the keys we can improve upon that with a pillow so if I place a pillow underneath the computer um, actually one of those tray tables that you get to eat breakfast from is probably going to be better on this it just needs to sit just above the height of your knees so that my elbows are still roughly at 90 degrees when I'm keying but this isn't too bad um, if I was doing this for any period of time I'd probably put a folded blanket or a folded towel under there just to get a little bit more height out of it um, but you can see that that's an improvement on what I was doing before I'm much more upright my head is sitting back on my shoulders um, I've maintained the curves in my spine and I'm in a much better position so this is going to greatly reduce the fatigue that you get um, in the muscles of your neck and reduce the amount of pain that you're getting it will also reduce the amount of pain that you get in between your shoulder blades from being in that bent over forward posture position now there's no posture that's actually a perfect posture um, and the best posture is a posture where you change positions often um, some postures are worse than others and certainly the long sitting one the first one where my spine was in a C curve is probably the worst of all the ones I've shown you so this is a vast improvement on that and if you can teach your teenagers these little hints and tips um, you'll greatly reduce their neck and shoulder pain especially when they're heading into the upper years of um, high school so grades 10 to 12 when the study load greatly increases and they are spending a lot of time um, at their computer um, I hope this helps and I hope you've got some ideas that you can pass on